In this tutorial, I'm going to teach you a basic understanding of wireless networks. So, what is a wireless network? It's the network set up by using radio signal frequency to communicate with other computers, just like cell phones and radios. Wireless networks make life incredibly easy and give us such great mobility. It's also referred to as a Wi-Fi network or WLAN. In 1997, the Institute of Electrical and Electronics Engineers created the first WLAN standard, which is a set of technologies for wireless communication. For an easy understanding, I made a simple table to show you a brief history of wireless standards. This table describes the Wi-Fi standards to help you understand the evolution of Wi-Fi technology. As you can see, there are five standards, but you only need to remember the N and the AC, because these are the most common standards in use today. Next is wireless signals. Wireless signals are electromagnetic waves traveling through the air. They are important because they can transfer information like audio, video, or voices, and so on. There are two types of Wi-Fi signal, 2.4 GHz, a lower frequency, this is the more common Wi-Fi technology in use today, and the 5 GHz, which is a higher frequency used by fewer devices and can achieve higher speeds. The range is also shorter. You will also need to know what is a wireless channel. For the 2.4 GHz band, there are 14 channels. If you are building networks in the US, you can only use channels 1 through 11. You can also use the 5 GHz frequency band, which is much wider and has more channels. These channels do not overlap, so you don't have to worry about picking non standard channels like in the 2.4 band. Now that you know what channels and different bands are, you will need to know how to avoid radio interference. If you live in a populated area, your neighbor's Wi-Fi could interfere with yours. So change the default Wi-Fi channel and use 1, 6 and 11. These three channels have no frequency overlap. Interference can also come from other electronics, such as microwaves, cordless phones, tablets, and so on. The last topic I want to cover in this video is wireless antennas. Antennas are also key components of these radio communication systems. There are two types, omnidirectional and directional. An omnidirectional antenna sends a signal out equally in all directions. A directional antenna sends a signal out in one direction. Ok, so now that you have a basic theoretical understanding of wireless networks, we are ready to move on to my next video, where I will show you useful wireless settings. So, thanks for watching and I will see you next time.